Hi there, and welcome to my wheel throwing pottery series. And we're going to take our cylinder that we formed previously and form it into a bowl. Now to do that, we're going to use the, uh, the bowl tool here. And um, if you're going to fire this pot, then I would suggest that uh, you try and use as little water in the, uh, in the pot as possible. I mean, up until now, we've been essentially using as much as we can to get the practice in. But if you, if you actually want to, uh, to fire this, you're much better off actually using a slurry on the inside when you, when you form this, uh, this bowl and uh, before you actually get to this stage with all the previous stages uh, because uh, the water in the bottom of the pot will tend to cause S cracks and all sorts of problems when you fire it. So just bear that in mind. Uh, when you're forming the bowl here, you, you won't need a huge amount of uh, water or slurry on the inside. Um, the slurry is just a, a mixture of the uh, clay and water. It's the stuff that you get on the outside of the pot when you're making it. So we'll start off by actually removing that slurry from the from the outside here so that we essentially won't have to touch the outside of this cylinder at all when we make the bowl. Now it's only going to be a very simple bowl, um, not, uh, not at all sophisticated, but uh, it'll, it'll give you an idea of how to form the shape. So we'll, uh, we'll get going with that. Now when, when you're using the, the tool here, try and actually angle it away from the direction of rotation. If you, if you angle it in, in this direction, the wheel's going around that way and it's going to dig in, uh, which is not what you want. And try and keep it between the, the 3 o'clock and the 6 o'clock position on the wheel. And uh, just again try and hold it with both hands, uh, support them as much as possible as it goes around and just just push it into the cylinder there and just remove the just remove the slurry from the outside edge. Okay, now we're gonna form the uh, the bowl. Now again we'll be holding it so that it's pointing in, uh, uh, pointing away from the direction of the rotation uh, not into it so that it doesn't get stuck as you go around and we'll just get the wheel going at about half speed and then just hold the hold the bowl tool just up against the inside edge lightly and then as you apply pressure to the top you'll see that that'll start moving outwards. As I say, it won't require too much in the way of uh, lubrication, but if it does need a bit, just um, just try and just use a bit of slurry or something like that, just to lubricate that inside edge a bit. Tool, so holding it with both hands nice and steady, just push that side wall out. And you'll see it will gradually form the bowl shape. Work from the bottom. You should have a slope really on the uh, on the on the bottom rather than it being flat, so it follows the form up. But don't worry too much if it is flat. Just keep easing that out. stretchy. So now we've got a we've got a bowl shape there and I'm just going to use this is just a bit of chamois a bit of chamois leather which I cut off you just damp it in water and then you can just hold that on the on this top rim just curve it over that'll give you a nice curve to the Top of the bowl, and essentially, you have now a bowl shape which you could um, you could use. Uh, you'd probably need to to actually turn this. So 
turn it upside down and uh, actually clean the, the bottom off it a bit. But um, I'm going to leave it at this stage and uh, we'll do the turning as a separate video. Now as you can see I don't have a bat on this wheel so this bolt is going to be quite soft when I come to lift it off. So I'm actually going to heat it with this uh, heat gun just for a minute or two uh, just to dry the outside surface off slightly so that I can lift it off. Um, you can lift them off as, as they are but if it's, um, if it's particularly flexible and wet you, you may have difficulty in and um, you might want to just leave it for a couple of hours if you don't have a heat gun or just go for it and, and pull it off. Uh, uh, generally speaking once you put it on a flat surface it'll, it'll go back to its original shape but if you're a bit concerned then just leave it to dry a little. So I'll just um, dry the outer surface of this slightly just so that just so it's touch dry and uh, doesn't leave a finger mark and just solidify it enough so I can lift it easily. I'll do that. And I'm just going to use a wire to take it off. Uh, I actually run the wire from the uh, front to the back of the wheel and uh, the reason I do that is that if you run it the other way uh, you have a tendency to lift as you pull back you really want to keep that wire hard down on the wheel and if you push it the other way you're pushing down into the wheel so I would recommend doing it that way okay so just cut it off like so and then this should be solid enough just place your fingers try and get as much support on it as possible and as you see it will flex but uh, Hopefully, by the time we put that down, it'll straighten itself out. And just to show you that it has in fact kept its shape reasonably well, but if, if you do distort it slightly, just use a uh, plastic bowl with something of a similar sort of shape, and then you can just run it around the edges just to get it nice and round again. like that and then uh, leave it to go leather hard I hope you've been hope you've enjoyed this video if you have then please like it maybe subscribe to the channel and thanks very much for watching <laughs>